Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Anaheim Ducks franchise mode. So here we are, haven't started the year yet, but got some big trades we already want to make. So I was looking, and I know some people are going to be crying already about it being unrealistic. I know it. I want to trade with the Kings, because I want Quentin Byfield and I want Brant Clark. So let me explain a little bit specifically on Brant Clark. Um, one of the things that made me want to do the Ducks is I watched, I believe it's NHL 14, um, X-Tech. He did a uh, an Anaheim Ducks franchise mode, and I watched that back recently. One of the star players being Blake Clark, a guy that I used to draft a lot. No, he's not related to Brant Clark, ironically enough. Um, I don't know, something about B. Clark, though. I don't know. Uh, aside from that, though, I think that we could really use another power forward to really establish that offensive uh, offensive physicality. You know, you think about the good old days of the of the Ducks, right? Corey Perry, big skilled forward. Ryan Getzloff, big skilled forward. Bobby Ryan, not so much. Um, you know, obviously he was uh, he was more of a, a, a sniper, a, a small skilled guy for the most part, but. Their star players over the you know over their history have been for the majority bigger skilled players. So with that being said, we're going to see what we can do to try to acquire another big skilled player. So I think the first guy that I want to throw in there is Klingberg. Um, yeah, we'll throw Klingberg in there to, there to start, um, and then we'll just we're basically upgrading on Gache, so I'm fine throwing him in there, right? And then I'll throw like a second and a third. That trade value doesn't look awful. We gotta even out the cap, so we'll take we'll take Yeah, Jonathan Quick only has one year. Yeah, I'll take Jonathan Quick. Rejected. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. One of the nice things about the Ducks is that they've already done part of the selling for us. They have tons of picks. Rejected. Okay, it's gonna take probably three seconds. We can afford that. Okay, everyone relax. Oh geez, okay. You're going to make me give him two this year? Two spares we got. There you go. No? Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what? No, I'd rather do this. What we're going to do is we're going to go here, and I will give up a future first. And I can promise you by the time that, that draft rolls around, we will have another first-round pick. So just relax. But all of this for Quentin Byfield, I know it looks like a lot. Let's see. Do they want to trade any of their stuff? They do. Can I get like a third, a fourth, and a fifth? Would they do that? Rejected. What if I take off the fifth? Take off the fourth? Looks like that's going to work. So can I get like... Third and a fifth? No. Third and a sixth the next year? Would you do that? No, nah, it's just going to be that. Fine by me. Really happy to get Quentin in. Okay, we'll we'll come back to them in a minute though. Uh, next one I want to look at is Brant Clark. Um, and honestly, literally all I think I'm going to do is trade Mityakov and like I, I'm not even like a like a um, fifth for next year. They want a little bit more than that. So how about a fourth from a few years down the line? No, they're going to make me give them a fourth from, like, not, uh, yeah, from next year. We'll do that. Really? Wow, okay, this is getting a little bit ridiculous now. There you go. Okay, we have Brant Clark. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look, though. Who else needs to go? We sort by cap space. Going to keep Fowler. Henrik, Henrik, I'd like to get rid of. I don't know what we're going to do with, uh, with Silverberg. Strom, I'm sure we could get something pretty solid for. Shattenkirk, the same. Um, but there is another player that I'd like to acquire. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, it's going to be so unrealistic. Is he going to grab Kucherov? Maybe Stamkos? Well, Stamkos maybe someday. You know, that'd be nice. But we are actually going to be looking at Corey Perry. Let's bring the guy back, you know? Derek Grant for him and... There's no way you could do that, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, Derek Grant, and is this is it Sam Carrick? I think it's Sam Carrick for Corey Perry. They take that. Um, I'm more than happy to do that, to be honest. 
you know, getting Corey Perry back is such a big thing for this team. It really is. Like some people, are like, oh no, no, it doesn't actually matter. You know, he's he's not very good. Doesn't matter a whole lot. You know, so uh, the next thing I'd like to look for is probably, hmm, you know, let's just well, let's go find trade. You know, if we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell. Let's do it. Let's just let's go all out. Um, what will someone give me for? Oh my God! I see the bottom. See, okay, he's not quite the bottom. Silverberg. Nothing. What if I go like Silverberg and like a third? Not what I meant to do. Right wingers. Silverberg and a third. Blind trade. Give me a third and a fourth for it. I don't see the problem with that at all. Yeah. So I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting a third back and a fourth round pick. Yeah, the third is next year. Yeah, but I don't, I don't particularly think that matters to be perfectly honest. Uh, do best NHL lines. I am not hurting whatsoever with that one. Um, how close to the cap floor are we? Because we do in fact need uh, to be above the cap floor. What are we currently at? We are below it. How long are these other contracts is the thing. How long? Henrik to Okay, we have to get rid of at least a good a good other chunk because I'd like to get rid of Vetrano, Strom, and Henrik still. You know, I have an idea, though. I think I have an idea that, that might, might make this all happen fairly easily. Yeah, okay. Monaghan, 6 mil. I'd be happy to take that. Let's give him a chance at redemption. Same thing for Jonathan Druin. Give these two guys a chance at redemption. They're each on one-year deals, right? Uh, I would throw you Vitrano and Strom, which, granted, is less cap space, right? Uh, I want your second and your third, though. Too far off. Okay, just your second along with that. Wow, really? Okay, okay. Uh, third and, like, a few fourths. What do you say? Too far off? A third and a fourth? Okay, I'll take that. I will take that. Um, yeah, that's definitely something that we can not only do, but we can be pretty happy about doing because that clears off a good chunk um, of multi-year deals. Uh, the final guy that I'm, I'm really wanting to get out of here is probably Henrique. Um, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're I don't want to... I don't just want to trade finder him yet. We're going to... Uh, search for a forward who is a, I don't, I don't, I don't care about role. It's player type sniper, right? With one year left on his contract, making like six mil or more. Van Riemsdyk has one year left on his contract. Sniper. Yeah, I like this. I like where this is going. Okay, James Van Riemsdyk. Like, is there anything else here that we else here that we want? Knesny, Konechny. Doesn't fit any of our lines. Um, D'Angelo. Ah, I don't want Tony D'Angelo because he's offensive, isn't he? Yeah, we don't need another offensive. Sanheim, two-way, all defensive pairings. Oh my God, can I see? Okay, Ellis fits all. Provorov fits all. What's okay? Three years. I prefer Provorov just because of the contract. It's also only 25. Yeah, maybe we do look at trying to get Provorov here. Maybe just Cam York. Ah, he's offensive, I forgot. Do you have any defensive defensemen? Justin Braun, maybe? Honestly, Justin Braun would be perfect. Right. So then... <clears throat> So here's what I'm thinking, right? We go by overalls. It's going to be Zegris. Hang on. Zegris. I need to look at forwards. Zegris, um, McTavish, and Van Riemsdyk. Right? Then we're going to go. It's going to be Byfield with Terry. 
and Jones. Okay, yeah. Byfield, Terry, and Jones. All right. Uh, then we have, it'll be the redemption line there with the with the money. We got Drew in. We got Monahan, And maybe we go Perry or Comtois. Or maybe just Lundstrom. Maybe we just throw Lundstrom in there. What's Lundstrom's role? He's third line checking forward. Okay. Come to are you the same? Third line. Third line scoring. I mean, third line scoring, yeah, maybe Perry is the right option here. Yeah. And then we can just move on from Lundstrom and come to play them in the bottom and just call it good because... I'm not getting much more out of two top nine potential guys. Um, yeah, okay, I'd be fine with that. Then defensively, we're looking like Fowler, Drysdale. Um, then I want to grab Ulevi and play him up there. He can play alongside Provorov. And then Shattenkirk and Kulikov. Yeah, and we'll play... Kind of in there in the AHL, yeah. Okay, so that means that I just need to make this trade happen um, with the pieces being Lundstrom and Comtois. Is that am I understanding that properly? No, and uh, Henrique. Henrique is the other one. You have more than 45 skaters. Okay, who do you want to get rid of? It's just Justin Braun. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We'll take Cates there, right? Uh, Cates, two-way forward, forward. Yeah, we'll take Cates. Well, if I can get more, I mean, I may as well try to get more, you know? Uh, can we grab a couple thirds, maybe? Probably not. Single third? No. About like a fourth, then, huh? No. <laughs> Sixth? No. You know, that's probably all we're going to get then. We'll do it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, looking at the roster, you're going to go down. Leeson can play. Bull you. Uh, who all are we bringing up? That's really the question. Bringing up you, Levy, for sure. We'll do that real quick. Edit NHL lines. Just going to hit head coach preferred lines. Uh, McTavish with Zegris and Van... What was that that I just saw? Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, this could be fun. And then Perry, Terry... Or no, Jones with Terry and JVR. Okay, okay, JVR, what do you... Yeah, I guess that's that's all right. Oh, that's upsetting, though. Okay, Leeson fits that bottom line really well, so I don't want to mess with him. Why is you Levy here? Dude, what can I do to make the... You know what? Honestly, the third line it can be fine. It, it'll be fine. Defensively, Drysdale's going to be on the top line, right? Braun, being what he is, is going to play fine there, but we'll bump you up, you levy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And Shattenkirk can play the bottom line. That's cool. Offense, though. Ah, dude. We got to find someone else to play here. We got to find... Uh, um, dude, we could have our first line for, like, years to come if one of them is willing to shoot the puck. This could be, this could be real fun. Um... Okay, how do I want to... You know what, hang on. 
I'm just going to go ahead and say head coach preferred lines in here. Are you? You're a sniper. Uh, you know what? F it. What's the worst thing that can happen if we... Uh, yeah, what's the worst that can happen if Ryan Kessler's in the NHL, right? Right. That, that'll be... That'd be something, that's for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of that. Head down here to the 70 overalls. Grab Kessler. Edit AHL lines. Um, going to just go ahead and head coach for the lines. There you go. Okay, your best line is the top line. Put you in the middle, that'll be fine. Um, don't expect a whole lot from the rest of y'all. Just going to be honest. Defensively, pretty much all of this looks atrocious. Let's put in you. Put in you. You can play that top line. Axel Anderson can play there, sure. Uh, is there anybody that's scratched with good potential? Bottom six. Oh, okay. Ben King needs to play. So let's see. Uh, sure, you, Ben King. What do you fit? You fit the second and the third the best? Yeah, screw it. Godden, 25. Yeah, you're probably not going to be much. So there we go. That's what we're going to do in the AHL. And again, the whole goal for this year is just going to basically be just tank for Connor. Going to be honest, like, if we can get Connor Bedard on this team, ooh, it's, it's probably over. You know that? If we get, a, if we get one of them as a scorer, we'll be golden. Question's going to be how far can chemistry take us? Don't want to trade Kevin Shattenkirk, guys. I don't know if you figured that out yet. All right, come on. Let's get into the regular season here. Get some simulating done. A head coach replace player for now, and then we'll come back and fix him afterwards. Because again, I don't expect to be good. Three and one, four and one. Oh my lord! I we're doing a lot better than I expected. That's for sure. You levy, Cates. Oh, Lord, come on, scratched. Oh, are you, what is going on right now? Okay, here. Uh... Oh my, oh my lord, dude. Head coach preferred lines, then I'll go back and edit them here in a second. Let's take care of this. Jeez. I didn't think it would be this difficult. Byfield, McTavish. Okay, what are we looking for? Face-offs. So Byfield's the center. Cool. Good to know. Troy Terry. Sean Monahan, Drew Ann, yep, 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 yep. Defensively, Drysdale. Boy, you, you're going to hop off for you. Levy It's going to go there. There we go. In goal, still going to be John Gibson. And now we have Stellars. And, okay, cool. Feeling good. Feeling b better than I really should for this far into the season, to be honest. To be honest. Um... Just gonna be brutally honest. We'll go up until this, up until December first, and then we will call that an episode. San Diego player, don't care. Cates is not doing well again. John Moore. 
Yeah, no, I don't I don't care. Gustav Nyquist for a sixth and a seventh. Replace Perot. Don't care. Three, four, and one. MCL sprain. Oh lord. Sean Monahan has a strained hamstring. Okay. Um in the NHL, goalies wise. When I bring up Delzato, ah, uh, bring up Delzato, and and then forwards, bring up Justin Kirkland. Why not? Edit NHL lines. Scratched. It's gonna be Kirkland. And what's going to happen here is just a simple... Oh, was that a plus two? Man, Kirkland fits that bottom line perfectly, eh? Why is Bull U here? Lovely. Um, Who's scratched here? It's going to... Uh, is it all defensemen down here? Dude, I sw this is sloppy. Head coach preferred lines down here. Down here. All right. Let's see if we can just get to uh, get to December fourth here. Jacob Perot. Rocco Grimaldi's gonna drop down. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take out Jason Magna for Perot. There you go. Troy Terry has a mild concussion. Lovely. Sean Monahan's available. Love that. Love that. Monahan, you know what? Monahan can take over that second line role for now. It's fine. Mason McD Okay. All right. 10, 6, and 1. So we came down to earth pretty quickly there. See Troy Terry, Delzato being a top liner here just feels weird. Gonna be entirely honest with y'all. Oh my God, dude, the injuries. Center, give me McTavish. Come on. James Van Riemsdyk. Dude, holy, holy cow. Go to roster moves. Are you kidding me? Down here, who doesn't have to go through waivers? Hmm? Nickel, sure. Best lines at this point. It's, oh my... Frustrating does not begin to describe the feeling that I am feeling currently. Quentin Byfield with a sore shoulder, really? I, you know, I could not be asked right now. Okay, 12, 9, and 2. All right, 31 points for Zegris, that's solid. Currently looking like 13 points for the Coyotes is the worst in the league. We are in control of a wild card spot. It's good to know. Good to know. Uh, 31 points for him. 24 for McTavish. 23 in 23 for Byfield. That's pretty solid. 11 goals. We'll take that. 22 for Terry. 18 for Van Riemsdyk. 15 for Monaghan. 14 for Shattenkirk. 14 for Drysdale. All right, all right, production, solid production. John Gibson is playing out of his mind. All right, pretty solid start to the season. If you guys have enjoyed this one, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.